And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Blue Eyes King coming back to you again to continue on with the Pikmin 2 walkthrough playthrough 100%. This game came out in 2004, we all know that. But we are back right here. Like I said before, this is day 7 of being on PNF 404. We're going to go right into the Bulbax Kingdom. Let's find out what goes on here. Oh, and... Go! <laughs> Bulbax Kingdom, sub level one. Wow. Hey. These are the orange, these are the orange dwarf bulwarks. Easy. Losing Pikmin. And we found a treasure. It's worth 150 coins. Crystal Clover. And you know, the research part is actually correct. This is a Crystal Clover. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go. Let's see. I don't know. We're not going to bother with that orange bowl board right there. So let's continue on to the next floor. Next floor, here we come. <laughs> Bullback's Kingdom, sub level two. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I wonder what's on this sub level. Whoa, fire. Great. Fire Dweebles. Fire Dweebles. Right over there. Let's get it. Stay down, you Dweebel. Another, another fiery Dweebel. If you tinker it too much, it will unleash its element. It's a good thing I used the red pigment on the... Good thing I used the red pigment on that fiery dweeb. Let's have the yellow pig... Let's have... Let's see if I can get the red pigment. Should be good. Nope, no nope. creepy chrysanthemum over there. Let's see. A diamond. I think that's a that's a blue diamond. 
a sapphire. I wonder how much this is worth. 150 coins? Tear stone. You know, if you look at it from a, in a way, it does look like that diamond could be in some sort of a tear. Don't you think? When you look at it. Can anybody tell me how many carrots there are in this diamond right in this sapphire right here? Please leave a please leave a like and comment down below saying what you think of my travels on PNF 404 and Pikmin 2. I guess that's all the treasure right here in sub level 2. Wow. There's not that much treasure right here in the Bulbax Kingdom cave. Now let's head right in to this cave. Sub level 3. So far I didn't lose any. I lost about uh, 6. Bulbax Kingdom, sub level 3. Oh! Whoa. Oh no, not these guys. Let's get this dang thing. This thing is a freaking. This thing's like a mini version of a, of a Windy Blowhawk. It's good thing the Red Pikmin are better fighters than the others. What kind of Pikmin should I spare? Actually, let's spare some fire. Let's spare some fires right here. There we go. Into this white candy pop pod. Now I got it right. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's any treasure looking around here. There's got to be signs of treasure anywhere. Let's be careful. Aha! I knew it! Is that a con show? Did anybody tell me that's a con show right there? Pluck! Oh! Well, that was quick. 40 coins for this shell. Olimar Night Shell. Hey! This shell's named after Olimar! Ain't that something, Olimar? You gotta shove this named after you. Unless he was named after a kind of shell. Who knows? Anyway, let's press on. That's we can't find any treasure. We're not gonna mess with these kind of female sheer grubs. So let's go right down to the next floor. To the next level, here we go. Bulbax Kingdom, sub level four. Oh! Ah, well, that was fun. Oh, great. Electric fences. This looks like the job for some yellow pickles. There we go. I can spare some yellows. 
for some purple Pikmin because we need some purple Pikmin. And when I say we need some, I mean we really need some. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! Wally walk! Wally walk! Wally walk! 12 o'clock! Whoa! Come on, Wally Wog. Come on, is that all you got, Wally Wog? Ha! Stay down, you original Wally Wog. You know, they chase the name of these kind of creatures, but I still call them Wally Wogs. Some people call them Wally Hops, but I call them Wally Wogs. There are original Wally Wogs, like this one over there, and there's yellow Wally Wogs. Whoa! That's an old... Is that Korean or Japanese on the coin? I can't tell, but this is worth 100 coins in Hokotate. Unknown merit. Can anybody tell what it says? If anybody can tell me what this says, please leave a comment down below. Alright, let's press on. Okay. We're gonna work to see. Those purple things will not be turning flowers sometimes. So... A golden fridge shell! A golden fridge shell! Just what we need. That's a golden flinch shell. Flint beetle. Not shell, flint beetle. As you saw right there, it's a flint beetle. Let's see how much this crystal is. 110 coins! Not bad. I like it! I just hope we don't meet any future Pikmin that might break it. Crystal King! Alright, let's pluck these guys. We have to save these purple Pikmin because they're worth something in the end. Let's see. Ready? Oh, nuts. You see, the purple Pikmin, the purple Pikmin without their leaves are going to be a pain. Alright. Let's get away from these electric beetles. Alright, so let's go down to the next level. <laughs> Bobax Kingdom, sub level 5. Whoa! Now, this cave is really, really dark. I won't be able to see a thing. <laughs> Oh boy, we're surrounded by bulb orbs. We're gonna have to use the purple pigment. We gotta be very careful though. Would you guys quit running from these mites? You guys are scared of little tiny little insects? Well, you're not afraid. Whoa! Whoa! Bob bombs. Actually, they're called bomb rocks. I just hope we don't find any bombs anywhere. Found this treasure. It's 
worth 50 coins. Anxious sprout. It looks like a it looks like a it looks like a pine cone when it's closed up. Don't you think? Huh. Anyway, continuing on. Well, at least we're gonna have to use the purple pigment on that orange ball board. And here's the thing about this creature. The orange ball board, the bigger ones, if you get near them, they can sense that you're there. So my best bet is to Throw some Pikmin behind it, but go very slowly, but don't get too close to it, or it will wake up. Just to, just to give you a heads up up there, okay? Now let's go down to the next floor. Bullback's Kingdom, sub-level 6. What a fall. Let's see. Where are we? A red. Okay, this one is a red candy pod bud. We're not going to be using that. We are going to be using the purple ones. We'll come back for you guys later. All right, Lanky Louie. Now it's your turn. Start pulling your weight. Come on, stop pulling your weight here. Great. Orange, orange dwarf bull boars and a bit, and the big boy. Oh boy, this is not going to be pretty. Lanky Louie, you better not screw this up. No! I can't believe I got my purple Pikmin eaten, but this time I'm gonna save them. And use them wisely because you. I don't think you can get these purple Pikmin back because I know at the end of the game, I think they become very useful to one treasure. That's why I'm trying to save these purple purple Pikmin to the end. Fiery Dweevils. Watch what happens when you agitate a Fiery Dweevil or any kind of Dweevil. Watch this. That's what happens when you piss it off. So don't. Whoa! Back, 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 back! Bomb rock. Let's get it! It's C-Stud now! See? 
That's how you use purple Pikmin very wisely. One shock, one shock wave will stun them only temporarily. I got lucky that time. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the purple Pikmin take dig this out while the rest of us take down that ball board. twice before you try to eat my Pikmin. Now we've recovered 60% of the debt recovered. You guys are going slow. Move! What? Is that a skull? What kind of skull is that? Can anybody tell me what kind of skull this is? I have no clue. It's a hunt it's worth 140 coins. Colossal fossil. Wow. What kind of skull is this? Is that a skull of a walrus? I can't even tell. I won't be able to get any purple Pikmin now since I ruined my chance earlier. So let's continue on to the final floor of the Ballback's Kingdom. While we're facing off against a very familiar foe, I think. Emperor Ballback's. Ballback's Kingdom. Sub level 7. We are down to the final floor of the Bulbax Kingdom. Final floor! Alright, so... Oh boy, and he's there waiting for us. As for Louie, you keep these Pikmin safe over there while I take the yellow and reds along with me. Ball packs. I 
thought we destroyed you back in the final trial of Pit F404! Ah! Let's take it down! <laughs> What's this? My intentional reports indicate that that giant bullback spat out some sort of object. It looks fascinating, but it's drenched in that creature's infernal. Inf Eternal juice, disgusting. Uh, oh, don't roll your eyes at me. I'll store it for you. Thank you, research pod. Pikmin, take this. Now, you take this right back to the research pod. As for you guys, you are gonna open this gate. It's worth a hundred coins. Forged courage. This material has perplexing properties. I will try fusing it with this spare spaceship. Spare suit. Spare space suit. Uh, Processing complete success. Behold my latest invention, the Scorch Guard. Thanks to this heat resistant alloy, this suit is now imperious to fire. Good thing we now have this armor. And you, ball bats, can stay there and rot for all I care. Well, that sounds harsh. I know every living creature has its own function, but dang! Thinking how much, think about how much trouble you caused me while I was trying to look for my ship, Arton, on this planet the last time I came here. Okay, let's continue on. My radar show, according, according to my treasure gauge, it's showing, it's showing of another treasure. Somewhere around here. So, let's take some red pigment. Let's go this way. I, I, you don't want to go on the water. You guys stay right there. I'll be right back. Wow! It seems like that this suit is fire resistant. See? Not even getting burnt or getting any damage done to me. There it is. Is that a flashlight? Or as they call them in the UK, a torch. That little ball bat, that big ass ball bat. Oh yeah, let's get this last treasure right inside the research pod and get right out of this cave. Coins? I'm glad I grabbed this. Gyroid bust. 
It looks like somebody literally punched holes into this flashlight. Does it look like a flashlight to you? But it doesn't even have a switch. Huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is all for right here in this cave right here. Now that we grab everything that we need from here, we can get out of here. Right this way. There's a geyser. Now, let's get out of here. Huh! Whoa! We collected 10 treasures inside this cave. We lost six Pikmin along the way, but we made it. <laughs> Look at all the treasure we collected. And we got a heat resist we got a heat resistant spacesuit. Well, that'll be it right here. Let's get out of here. of debt recovered. Only 40% left. Now, let's put these Pikmin right back into this ship where they belong. You have 35 purple Pikmin. You have 29 white Pikmin. We have 147 red Pikmin. And finally, Dang, we lost all that yellow Pikmin. Guess we have 61 yellow Pikmin inside the iron. But thank you all for watching right here. We're going to end the day real quickly because there's not much we can do right here. On the next day, we're going to do some research with the wild blue Pikmin we saw on day 7. Till then, let's get out of this planet. Uh, 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 uh. Three, two, one, blast off. Let's start with today's report, shall we? During today's report, we have collected 1,300 coins worth of coin, tre treasure worth of coins, and 65, no, 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 6,586 coins of the debt has been recovered. We covered 65%. Now, let's see how many Pikmin we made. Amazing. After we, we didn't, we lost that many today. We're not going to lose any more, I guarantee you that. Oh, it's a message from the president. What does he want? Hello, I'm still on the I am I'm still on the Y A M from debt collectors. For for the time being, I decided to live under the bridge. But if they catch me, I don't know what they'll do to me. <sighs> Poor president. Well, we tried our best here. We are almost close to rebuilding, fix, recovering the debt. Well, that'll be it for right now, and the next day we're going to go right back into the Awakening Woods to discover the Wild Blue Pikmin. I can't believe they're always they're the last ones to be found. We're, we're going to need them. They're going to be very helpful. Until then, please leave a like and comment down below saying what you think of my travels in the Awakening Woods on Day 7. 
So then, this is the Blue Eyes King, gamer, performer, all that kind of groovy stuff. Thank you all for watching. I'm signing off. See you guys.